level of, uh, of uh, liquid in your body, uh, you actually need more liquid. Why? Because when we don't have enough liquid in the body, our body, in order to supply all body with the blood, because there is not enough uh, blood in, in the body, then our body will constrict blood vessels to get yeah, everywhere. So this constriction and also thick blood, because we don't have enough liquid, will actually cause high blood pressure and all other heart problems. How you, can how you can improve your back pain, let's say? Because there is a disc, very soft disc, which is mainly made of liquid between two vertebrae in your, uh, in your spine, okay? So when you don't have enough water, this disc will shrink and will slip between two vertebrae and will press the nerve and you get the pain. When you drink more water, this disc will plump, come into the place and no pain. And also cholesterol, you can decrease cholesterol, how? You know, cholesterol is natural product of the body. So cholesterol is produced by liver. And we need cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential for producing hormones. And not only that, wall of the cell is made by cholesterol. So when you don't have enough liquid in the body, then the body will uh, uh, open a little bit of pores on the cell wall to, uh, and a liquid will leak out of the, uh, the cell to supply the body with the liquid. So in order to stop this, because a body is shrinking, cell is suffering, so in order to stop this process, <coughs> body is producing more cholesterol to build the wall, to stop leaking of the liquid. So drink more water and decrease your cholesterol. Um, <coughs> health myths. People ask me what about soy, you know, shall we... No, soy is uh, uh, actually dangerous food. You know, soy have uh, hormones, uh, huge amount of hormones with, which can actually cause early puberty if you give your child to eat anything. Uh, from soy, but also in adults, soy can cause uh, breast and prostate cancer, and also very often soy is a cause of hypothyroidism. Uh, <coughs> by the way, 99% of soy is genetically modified, and it's very dangerous to eat anything what is genetically modified. Uh, if you can get some fermented soy, non-genetically modified, like people in China, they eat only fermented uh, soy, like miso, like tempeh, then it's okay. <coughs> and amino acids, we have all amino acids in plant food, and we uh, are also able to store amino acids in our body and to combine them. So in a few days, if you eat today some food and after three days your body will com combine these amino acids, vitamin B12. This is really help me, the huge, I mean, big help me. You know, they always say that vitamin B12 you get only from animal products. This is not true. Uh, because we don't find vitamin B12 in animal products nor in plant products. Vitamin B12 is produced by microorganisms. <coughs> um, small microorganisms who live, like all other animals, which are plant eaters, who live in our guts, in nasopharyngeal passages, in our mouth. And we have enough. I always check my vitamin B12 level and it's excellent. And I never take my, uh, my uh, supplements of vitamin B12. And also genetically modified food, be, be aware. What about water? You know, first and the most dangerous thing you have to be aware is uh, fluoride. Fluoride is neurotoxin and it's rat poison. So, you know, fluoride was used in the Nazi camps and the Russian gulags. Uh, to decrease a number of guards. They decrease from 100 to 20. How? Because uh, prisoners, they start to obey. When they get flu, right, they obey, they don't want to escape. They just do whatever they tell them. So, and flu, flu right, was introduced into the tap water, bottled water, toothpaste in, after the Second World War, in uh, America, Canada, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Most European countries, they refuse fluoridation because they knew this is an extremely to to uh, high toxin. So what actually fluoride is doing? You see, 
when they introduced water, uh, fluoride in the water, they said they had excuse that actually fluoride is good for the teeth, for prevention. But it's this, this is disproven, you know. Even in a Scientific American uh, issue, January 2008, there is an article, scientific article, about actually that fluoride is causing fluorosis. This is a disease of the tip, you know, not protecting, but causing a disease. And not only that, the, the, the most, uh, the biggest consequence of fluoridation of water is calcification of the pineal gland. Pineal gland is the most important gland in our body. And uh, it's producing hormone melatonin. If you don't, <laughs> when the gland is calcified, you don't have enough melatonin, then you get depression and lethargy, and you don't want to live. Okay? <coughs> and you cannot perform any job, you know, with your, your full capacity. So, also, fluoride is causing brain holes in a white matter and decreasing IQ of our children. Infertility, too. Uh, bones, you can see on the picture, spine, you know, uh, on the left side is normal spine, on the right side is spine which is exposed to fluoride, and also asthma, uh, and also fluoride is added in the drugs, because only fluoride can pass brain membrane, and other uh, chemicals they cannot, so they combine with fluoride so the, the drug can pass brain membrane. First sign of toxicity by fluoride are achy joints, fatigue, and memory problems. Okay, uh, how you can get rid of a fluoride in the water? There is a you can buy some unfluoridated water, which you cannot find easily here. But there is also reverse osmosis filter, and you can buy it in the major cities and also in Kobar. You can find a shop with a reverse osmosis uh, filter, and this is the only filter can remove fluoride from the water. What other dangers we have in food? Aspartame. Aspartame is artificial sweetener. And we have in a huge amount, especially in low uh, sugar food, which you consume, you know, almost every day if you eat industrial packed food. So artificial as aspartame uh, is actually, uh, you can find in soft drinks, <coughs> drugs, and it's causing brain lesion, holes in the brain, and sclerosis multiplex. It is proven that one of the major reasons of sclerosis multiplex is aspartame. Second poison is MSG. MSG is monosodium glutamate. And this is uh, actually a uh, uh, spice which they use to enhan enhance the... Can we answer the we can, question? We call it as aginomoto. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. So, it's extremely, extremely dangerous. You can see on the right picture how these white areas are actually dead brain. And it's, co it's completely destroying brain. And you need 75% of your brain to be destroyed to feel it. So never ever take this, this uh, and usually you find in the restaurants, because you, if you put MSG in the waste, it will taste, taste good. Okay, and it's uh, causing learning problems, memory problems, numbness, blindness, depression, and, uh, and, and so on. After eating a uh, food with MSG, you can feel cloudy, and I'm sure that you feel sometimes like this after eating your food in a restaurant, bad concentration, difficulty in logical thinking, and early signs, uh, these are the early signs of MSG intoxication. But sometimes we have cardiac arrest. People can die from MSG. 